right, Slash Racer here. Just doing a quick review about the nickel metal hydride batteries. I'll start off with the six cells. So the obvious difference between these two is a current rating here. So this is 5,000 milliamps per hour. This one's 2,400 milliamps per hour. Now that just means it's how much current is stored inside the battery as capacitance. Uh, it is actually a different figure, but it works out to that number once you put it into a circuit with your motor and electronic speed control. Now these are obviously six cells, which is marked at 7.2 volts, because that's also how many cells it is. Alright, so, first of, first of all, you look for the voltage, which is the number of cells in easy terms. This is how much force is behind the current in your battery that goes to your speed controller and motor. So the higher the voltage, more force to the speed controller and motor, which means more power you'll get out at the end of at the end of the circuit where your motor is. And obviously you'll notice it you have a bit more speed with a bigger battery. Now this what this number turns to is how long a battery will last, pretty much. So, and what this number actually means, well, 5,000 milliamps is one is five amps. So that is saying this battery can provide five amps. At five amps, it can provide 7.2 volts. At five amps, for one hour. And so this one can provide it 2,400 amps. Uh, sorry, 2.4 amps at 7.2 volts for one hour. That's what that number means. So that's obviously saying that this one can provide more, so it will last longer. That's what this figure means. So this one's larger the better. All right, and so the voltage is a force. Now to work out how much power is actually inside this battery when you buy them. It's this number here, which I've, been, I've taped over, I'm not sure if you can really see it, which says 7.2 at, and then you got this 5,000 milliamps. So, change this to amps, which makes it 5 amps. You multiply 5 by this number, and that's how much power is stored in this battery. So obviously this one will have less compared to this one. Now if we go to the 7 cells, and I have two types. Uh, the venom power oops, and the cell power which is the stock one that comes with the slash and most of the Traxxas models. Again same thing here except this one is see here it's 8.4 volts so these are both 8.4 except this one has got less current current rating which is 3000 compared to the 5000. Again following my rule take off the three zeros you've got five times this with how much power it has in watts. Same with this one. So this one obviously stores more power, therefore it will last longer. And you'll notice that these, at the start, will have the same amount of speed in the motor. It just it will last longer on this one compared to this one. It's the only difference. Uh, now, just a quick review about charging these. So I know see a lot of people doing it incorrectly, and this will shorten the life of your battery and not put your battery to its full potential. Alright, so first of all, you can't charge these above 40 degrees C, otherwise the heat in them will create a higher resistance and your charger will think it's full when it's not and this also wrecks your batteries. So your charger will stop charging if you've got an electronic one, it will stop charging it at a lower voltage than what it should be. All because it thinks it is at its voltage because it's got a higher resistance. Now I'm sure someone else can explain it. I might even do a video later about how that works. Going into the formulas and sums, but I'll try and keep it in simple terms. Damn planes. Just wait a sec.
All right, hopefully I can cut that out. I'll work it out sooner or later. All right, also, so while charging them, charge them at a low current so they don't heat up too much. Oh, how to explain this. All right, so they don't heat up too much. So I'll charge this at most at one amp, so it'll take five hours to charge, which isn't too bad, considering these are nickel metals. Because they have a high internal resistance, so you got to charge them quite slowly. Uh, the way to speed up the charging process is not just to up the amps on your charger, but to put them inside of a cool box or a freezer where the air is fairly still. Let the battery cool down first, so it's at, room, at the temperature the freezer is, and then charge them. Depending on how cold it is, you can charge them probably double, maybe even up to four times. That, so you can charge them at four amps, which should just take a bit over an hour to charge for this one. Now, because this one's got a less capacity, you have to charge it at a slower rate because it'll heat up quicker because there's not as much capacitance in there to store all that energy. So this one I'd recommend at most charging it probably 0.75 uh, amps. So that's 750 milliamps when you work it out. And most people think you have to charge the smaller batteries at a lesser rate. That's a false thing. It is set by this number here, the milliamps per hour. So the higher this is, the faster you can charge it. But obviously because it stores more, the long, longer it will charge. I go by the rule at room temperature because it's quite hot here most of the time in Australia. I will charge this so it'll take five hours to charge at room temperature. So obviously, so at most one amp. And it's the same with these batteries because less capacitance, you have to charge it a less amount. Also another thing I see down at my club and sometimes on YouTube, not that you see many people charging, is they put fans to cool these batteries. Which is, you shouldn't do it because it will wreck your battery by the fact that it will cool the outside but not the inside of the battery and the heat's coming from the inside, it'll create an uneven charge because the thermals are different, different parts of the battery are offering different resistances, so it'll charge differently. This will wreck your batteries pretty quick. You probably only get a few weeks worth out of maximum performance out of these batteries if you do that, and then you'll have to go out and buy a new set. Also another people aren't so sure about is the fact that batteries actually have a run-in where they won't perform at their peaks for a few charges. So give them two or three charges before, well, two or three runs before expecting full performance out of them. So used, well looked after used batteries will actually outperform brand new ones because the fact that they're still performing at their peaks, which is still better than the um, new ones. All right, that's my review on the nickel metal hydrides. Look out for my lithium ones, and I might have a comparison. Well, that's it from Slash Racer. Please subscribe, and you'll find out a lot more.